Okay, I want to say a big, uh, big hello to everybody. Welcome to another art video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about those lines again. Perspective. Uh, before we do that, let's just show. Oh, let's just show you those lines. Okay, that I not not perspective. I mean lines that I sometimes do to show the height of a character. So for myself, this is for reference. Okay, so I do this sometimes. So I have a character. Let's say. You know, I'll do a line, let's say. Some great, what do they call it, a line of action or whatever. I can't really do them properly. <laughs> but um, I have an idea that like I might have a character like this, I might have this, and I'll work it, or, and I'll work along that line. I might even just do a circle there, it depends. And I might not literally make the legs on that angle, I may just like follow the basic thing to follow where the base is going so I might decide to even change that midway I'll just use this line this guide these guides that I'm talking about to understand the height you know of the character you know the basic thing it might be like that okay you see it might be that this is more lower due to the fact that the knees are bent you see or maybe this is still leaning over maybe the head's here maybe this maybe he's dealing with something there don't know what he's doing you know it may be like some crazy position but you still understand you know where the basics are. If it's like this, he's gonna fall in that direction. I think I know that. See, I could have this in front and then this here, and you can see how this it's all balanced along the centre. His weight, his weight is massed going down. So, so he's going to this. His centre of weight is there. So um, this hand might be here holding something, um, some kind of thing. Hook or so this hand is what I, maybe this hands maybe this leg sorry is there and I don't know maybe maybe this is on a maybe this thing is moving on, on a conveyor belt thing and he's, he's dragging him in this direction and he's like whoa but then again maybe this arm should be about there then and the arm is whoa you know maybe he's lost his bag or something in his hat get the idea right but, um, the, the, that's the point though so you know but I know that I made that really really long there his arm shouldn't be able to even reach up there really and again I've explained to you before about perspective so if I had a perspective set up going let's say into the distance there I might have like a character this one character might be here I'll just make him up of balls, just three balls. The other one will be over there. He's more smaller, you see. But the thing is, I might have different positions, as I say. And it, or he might be just looking up or looking down or whatever, you see. So I might have the character like... I've done... If you check out on my channel, there's a couple of other videos where I use similar things like this. There's another video about perspective as well. Check out another video I made. Let me just show you that really quickly. If I do, um, you know, some perspective lines okay like so this is a ground plane however I might have it like you know, the characters there this character is like you know the lines not just left to right like 2d the line is like you know you know for for the back so these these you no know, so this is like here so these were two boobs, you can imagine, they're coming straight towards us. You can imagine that, and the eyes are here. See, I'm just trying to see things in different perspective, basically. So I'm going to do something with the perspective in a moment, I'm going to show you, okay? So let's just uh, do this first. So you see, rather than just having it side by side, I can have it that we're looking the neck is actually underneath this thing and we're looking at that this is the body and these are the hips and this is the arm down the side of the body you see 
so the, and there's actually in this we can't see but there is actually if we were to look at it from this side it looks like this really there is there's a this these parts are there see the, the neck and the um, hips are actually there same as these feet see I can't see the whole leg as we're looking down so I'm imagining that with these balls basically I'm just imagining that like that you know so anyway I, would, I can do I can do a shape see but it doesn't have to be that it's side by side if you understand me it could be that I'm imagining a ball there and a ball there see the legs didn't turn out too good on this one but you, you get the idea though right yeah okay that looks pretty it's a very good example actually very good example if I get rid of that I just, I just had a happy little accident I guess Bob Ross would call that um, if I just do this here just quickly just do two rough random lines and this guy is it's holding a, a thing here what we're actually looking at is a guy like that holding a newspaper and he's just slouched forward with his feet there and he's just sitting on a bench you see in the park or whatever if you can understand what I'm saying a guy sitting there looking down reading the newspaper you know okay uh, there's the legs cave behind and that's what we're looking at and I'll show you how we're looking at that we're we'll going another layer and I'll show you how that is so we've got two ways of doing this as well um, I'll show you one and then the other one is we can uh, imagine that this is the big head see these are the arms, I'll just do two arms there this is the newspaper you see he's looking down but the ears here can't see the whole thing because it's like that you know okay his body's going down there these are his two um, legs you see and this is the top of the bench I've made the bench a little bit um, bigger I know but you get the idea here yeah. get the idea you know see so if I um, color the bench brown just really quickly you know you can see what I'm saying okay the bench there and then erase what needs to be erased just to show you you know about there and the guy is sitting on the bench see Got some blue ground I don't know why you, I don't even need to do anything else. You can see, you can more or less see what I'm saying now, right? Um, if I go on here, make this guy red, make him red. See, you can see what I'm saying. So it's like looking down on those shapes, but we still just use the balls mainly. See, <laughs> this is the thing. So if I just get rid of that, oh shit, hold on. If I get rid of that, how can we make that into something better then? Better, you would do it like this, you'd have, you'd, you'd use now the shape that you're seeing within that, so the, the head's looking down, but I don't have to make it exactly like that, I could make it like smaller, see, I'm just keeping it within that big circle. The shoulder line's here, the, the, this shoulder starts about here, he's holding a book, right? So I just basically remember that and just give my collar there, I don't know. I'll still keep that the way it is and then you know just put a basic hand on there for now you see and um, this body is going down just to a zip on that jacket he's wearing and the other arm I'll just put it in a better position somewhat and that's going down we can't see too much of it the leg is here as I say and the other leg is going down there and the guys in fact I've just put it like that okay the knee I can just have a bit like that let me think about this 
Okay. The, the shoe's about there, and the guy is sitting on the bench. If I get rid of that now, I can imagine. See, this is the bench. You see, and that is going up towards us because it's like higher up. You see, and this is the this is the place he's in. This is a big door, maybe. There's another wall up here. We're looking down on this guy. There's another window over there in the perspective, you see. And he's in this room. And he's waiting to go past this gate. I don't know. <laughs> There's a fence, he's not allowed to go past that fence. He's just got to sit in there reading his book. <laughs> you get the idea though, I'm just having some fun, but we could undo a lot of stuff there. Whoa. I'm doing a load of steps. Whoa. Get rid of Can I get rid of that? Shit. See, for some reason they're on different layers. It's really weird. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these two. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something different. Okay, I'm going to do some lines, and I'm going to work, rather than have them as straight lines, I'm going to have them as perspective lines. So like like that. Now, obviously, this perspective is going to be like that, smaller as we get further down. So meaning, if I had a character there, and they're not even dead on the center, see, but you can see kind of what I'm saying, yeah. And actually, that's even wrong as well because now he's work, walking on an exact straight line. If you understand what I'm saying, so his footprints should be like this, 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 that. Boom, 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 boom. So you see, he's like, see, this will be here, and this will be there. His legs will always be either side. I'll just make another one with the steps wider. I'll just make one over here. See. But I just, <laughs> again, it's still wrong. So you say I've got to follow the height. So see that's on the other side. Body, head, and you can see that, yeah. Another one here. Boom, boom. I don't know if you can see that. One here, and one there. Okay, so I'm following different tracks. This is here for one leg, and that's there for the other leg. The centres in the middle if you understand he's walking along this path as it goes down see it's not going to be that they're wa he's walking on one straight line meaning i.e. I'll show you just really quickly it's not going to be like it's not going to be like this okay it's not going to be like this he's on his legs are on one line do you see Whoa, it's like he's gonna fall in there, he's gonna fall in there. We got water on this side and water on that side. No, that's not the point. You see, it's like you've got to have two tracks at least. It's like you've got a center line. This this line is like the center line, so his legs should be either side of that, basically, to him, you know. So it's like saying it's like saying I'm gonna have one height, one line for the height. One uh, two lines for the legs, and another line for the middle. And his his body's going to be straight up and down. He's not going to be like tilting either side necessarily, unless we're doing fighting moves and stuff. But then you're going to imagine where he's stepping. So let's try that. Okay. So this first guy is standing straight up. Okay, that's there. His hips are on this line, and then his legs, although a little bit far out, I know, but they're like that. But you get the idea, right? And there's another line in the middle there, of course. And the arms are there, okay? Now the other one, this another one, we'll do another one here. That just happened to be a weird line, I know. Same thing, see? They're up to like that. Knees in the middle, obviously. Hips there. Body there. And this there, right? And then what about another guy who comes along and says, I want to put my head off the angle? So he's like, okay, he's like this. He's standing there, but then his body goes off the angle. You see? He's like he's oh, he's gone off. He's gone over. 
And then what you need to do is you need to imagine all of this as I see anyway, on, on circles basically, in circles. So not circles, yeah I mean spheres, sorry. So let's imagine now I'm going to do this. Alright. I'm going to have another one there. So hold on. For the feet, just roughly, right? Just roughly. I mean that's even wrong really. It's like the body, the guy is leaning over to one side. In actuality. Because you've got one leg here, one leg here, one leg here, and the body's like leaning over there. The body's here, you see what I'm saying? It should be up like that, it should be, his head should be here. It should be like that, you see? <laughs> that looks strange as well. I'm just saying that, you know, it's like, it should be, but the, the reason why it's not is because of the angle of the, the 3D. So let me show you about it should be like we do the let let's do the lines for the two feet first you see this should be how can I say let's say like if I if I do squares here see that like, you know like like that this shouldn't be over this side you see like a wall it should be this should be these points should be right here directly on this center the whole way and I think it's kind of like an op op optical illusion too because you see rather than here but you know it looks like it could be here right it looks like it could be anywhere because it's just lines horizontally across the page it's just, just wavy one but you see what I mean so you can work with all kinds of grids and stuff as I say um, yeah but yeah, you know, that's what you want to have. So you got that, and you got your character. However, this character is whether he's a two D, whether he's just like that, you know. When he's making his merry way along his tracks with both feet, you know, walking accordingly, not uh, not like not like both feet or on on one track. <laughs> He's like, whoa, trying to balance. <laughs> now it's got to be like, um, I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, it's like, this could be like a sphere as well. In, in, in any way you stand, so, you know, any way you stand it, like some crazy position. These could be, as I say, again, spheres. Um, what do you call it? Cylinders and all that stuff. They could be spheres, you know. Like all that you can work with all them 3D shapes as well. So now let me just try something else. Though I'm not going to go too crazy. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to just do a line, and I'm going to duplicate that line or that layer a few times. I'll move one out of the way. I'm going to do another one and move that out of the way. And I'm just going to merge them both. Merge it below there, and then merge it, and then flip it. I want to flip it on the other side. Bang. Move that. Over. So that's the way I want to do it. Okay. Another thing you can. I was going to say that if I start drawing, one thing I'm going to say is if I start drawing now, is I'm going to have a problem because it is still is flat. You see. So it's no good me saying I want this guy to walk into the distance. Okay. Let's just make him a three balls, as I say. You can do them like this. You can do them like this. You can do like a. Let's say this is a man. He's more straight there. So let's make a woman's be shorter, small top, and then a bigger waist, and that. And you can just put the boobs on later. Yeah. Let's say right. Now, if we're going to make this one character go into the distance, are we going to say that this is closer? You could do it like that, but he's now he's not even in the lines. He's bigger than the lines, you see. You could use it for a basic guide, though. You could use it for a basic guide, see. But he's not he's, he's not really in the lines. We just got it's not a proper it's not proper perspective. You see what I'm trying to say? It's like it's still left and right. So let's just show you something now. Uh, don't forget, you can also do this. Okay, you can also uh, go to the transform. It's slightly different in Fire Alpaca. But in um in critter you can do this, you can go to the transform tool and hold control and then left click and turn and it gives you perspective for things like that. You see? 
and you can still turn it and stuff to it. So another good thing is you can use this for like a path as well. So I could do that and then make it into a path. So look at this, look. It's amazing, I think this is. You see, I can do it even on a slope or whatever, see. So that's another cool thing you can actually do, or different angles, you see. So now we've got this. This is very, very useful, I think. Um, I could have done two of those. So almost like a 3D kind of perspective, you see. So I could do two of those. Uh, let's just do that first. Um, turn this one round. Okay, make it like a road or whatever. It goes into the distance. And this one, see I could try just duplicating that straight up and then moving it. You know, hold on. I could just try that, but it doesn't work at all, no. I need to literally move this one as well. And change the perspective. Sorry I took a long time to like do it. It's because of the features. You've got to click here, click there, and do different things to get it to work, it's weird. Hold on one second guys, my back's a bit uncomfortable, it's gonna loosen up a little bit. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm okay guys. <laughs> oh, I'm okay. Don't worry, but you see what I'm saying, you can work with this perspective stuff, I can make this like, it's still the same line, you see, if you wanted to do like an inner one as well, you could do that. And then you could do that, you know. I wasn't even planning to do this, but it's not perfect, but you see what I mean? You can like do some stuff. I could even, I guess, then stretch it out. If I wanted to, or do different things, you know. Or like, uh, even roll, I don't know, even uh, roll it on the angle like that if I wanted to do some crazy stuff like that. But you see how you could use that. Uh, I could go here now in visualize in my mind some kind of place you know this could be a place here there could be a you know this could be a path or something you see it could be bushes at the top of there coming over the top of the wall or whatever you know there's a sign on the wall or something like that so it goes around there's a tree, you know what I mean, you can make it like this, a, a path or something that goes another wall here, path, you know, and it goes around some house or something there, and here's some grass on the side there, you know, and someone's riding a bike or something, you know, going across, there's a rubbish bin on the road, just visualise different things, you know, or you can, as I was going to say, work the perspective, so from here I can still imagine the basic thing if I wanted to I could still do a line across the middle too to keep the basic height the same but no mind you that's going to be different the height's going to be different on different ones but you could still do it though I mean you can make yourself a frame how about that you could do a frame so here's the, t here's the top of the character here's the middle and here's the feet okay and you could do knees if you really wanted to as well but I'm just saying I don't have to do that and you could just use it as a guide. Like you'd have to make another layer and then just go draw your character here. You know, uh, do that there. Boom, 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 boom. And then obviously further away, it's not going to be the same. So you're going to move that over there. If he's, if he's standing up right beside him, it'll be the same. But what you'll do is you'll just shrink it down somewhat. But they still keep their same distance apart from each other. See, head, middle, and bottom. So from here more or less you know and you can basically just move that down there you see and just draw another character or another one and you can just have him doing all kinds of, you can have a character walking oh, excuse me on another layer give a character walking even if you wanted to you can make all kinds of like presets of different ones too like you know this character here so i'm keeping both legs opposite i should i could have had it like to use those three lines as i say but we're not, I'm just keeping it for the distance, so if I want I can just do it by myself too, I can just do it freehand, you know but you can make all these like different tools and widgets, and, like these, um, sorry, these are uh, things, it's up to you how you see the perspective too, you see and you can work all this stuff, I could do another one really close to us here, we can't even see the rest of his body, you know there's zombies walking into the machine 
this one's walking a dog, you know. <laughs> Whatever, see? And I was going to say that you can even just make copies, like, like duplicate layers, have them on different layers, or you can make duplicates of various stick figures set up in various positions that you could use again even, you know. But you can also do things like this, you can also use things like, if I take this top half of this character here, cut off the top half of this character, and just start turning that, you see, please excuse me for that terrible advertisement, I can turn it, see, or like that, and just move it into place, I do different things, like, whoa, he's turning, see, or like that, move it to place, and then change it, or so, try and do different things if you want to. But then I'm going to say another thing you can do is, uh, you know, make presets, as I was going to say, like, copy that, if you don't want to duplicate the layer, just make a new layer, you know, go, um, edit, paste, nah, we're on the wrong layer, damn it, <laughs> hold on, on the wrong layer, okay, hold on, hold on, paste the right layer, the right one, okay, so now we've got a copy of that, and I can just move it anywhere I want, I can have another character, I can just shrink it down, I don't even have to draw it, I can just move it and just have it there, and if it's on the same line, like you can clearly see if I turn this on the angle as well, like look here, look here guys, I'm going to keep this here for a second, okay, I'm going to get rid of that for a second, okay, you can see clearly, ah, excuse me, you can see clearly, okay, that if I erase the other one, hold just really quickly, you can see clearly it's, it's on the same line, okay, let me just erase this one quickly, uh, let me just erase that, you can see clearly that the, each character is on a different line. Now this one we can't see because we can't, this one we can't see because we can't see his feet because it's too close to us. But you can see this is on one line and the, this guy is on one line too, right? You can see that. You can see that these lines get, you know, smaller as they go along, you can imagine. But you know, you can imagine what I'm saying though, yeah? And uh, yeah. You know, you can see it. So what we're trying to say is, these are on the same line. I was going to say, okay, these two are on the same line. These two character, these two characters, and basically, it's just a height difference. It's just literally a height difference. So this one is a child, and this one is an adult. You see, and you can just get really creative when you do this stuff. Like you, you don't have to draw a stick figure like that. If you wanted to, you could do more detail like. Triangle, whatever triangle arms that do some, you know, or just do a big fat belly there. Just remembering where the shoulders are, you know. Put a hat. If you want to put a hat in there, do whatever you can. Just some kind of detail so you understand, you know. You know what I mean? And, and you, 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 it might be a girl. You could put a dress on her or whatever. See, and just just work basic things out, you know, and, until you get it. And as I say, you can do. And then from here, you might be really smart. So if you put like different lines across, like. Maybe this is they're crossing the street now, or maybe you're just doing that a couple of lines to show how wide that's going to be, so you can set yourself up to do like some staircase up here or something. You could like do some steps, and then you know do that, do that rough thing there. You know, and just erase it. You know, just do the basic thing. You know, just just work out some shapes. You know, and do that. I don't know. Well, these are grassy hills up here, you've got a fence, you've got a house up there, whatever, and you can just work out all your scenes. And all this is a rough thing, it's not It's not the proper thing, so you can, when you've got too many layers, you just merge them all down, if you want, or just deal with it. Put that lower, or do different things on different layers, but keep them lower, and then just draw on top of it, you know, just draw on top of that. So I could really draw, you know, whatever it's going to be another layer I'm saying so really do this guy with his hat he's the, he's the father you do the, the, the daughter holding it holding his hand or whatever just coming home from school whatever it is you know like that he's got a big case he's holding he's just come back from work mum's at home cooking the dinner you know uh, maybe this is mum down here walking the dog, doing her exercise. She's in her sports tracksuit today, you know. And this is the dog here, 
spot or whatever his name is ding dong whatever you know and then you've got some other strangers up here on the road some dudes if you want to do it that way it's up to you what you want to do you know some guy in a hat or whatever hoodie you know just work it out and you know just before long you have a scene you know and you can draw all that stuff in so I could get rid of those for a moment make another layer and just do my scene my hills or whatever's going to be in here a path going up you know a house whatever and then when I'm finished I just get rid of my basic sketch and I got that there you know I can do it all however which way I want to do it you know we'll just do like that for now okay you know you know just like that for now and then the, the other characters I just do the same thing I just fill them in you know do another layer underneath the line art whatever you know I'm just doing this roughly for a bit of fun just to show you see but well, you do really really nice artwork you know and you take your time to do some very nice artwork you could use photos for reference you can use 3d images you can use photos for reference so many things to you know help you create this scene you can like paint in the road if you had to do that you know these are more hills on that side it's a beautiful sunny day but it's a blue sky and you know whatever it is if before long you'll know how to create some little stories and stuff you know and that's nice you know but um yeah I'm just sharing some thoughts of mine you can work all kinds of stuff I'm gonna stop this one here and say thank you very much for watching okay um, and you take care now okay thanks for watching